The Alabama High School Athletic Association is set to return to Gulf Shores High School to investigate possible student athlete eligibility violations. WKRG News 5 Sports Director Simone Eli joins us now. Simone, you've been investigating for weeks mm -hmm. and that's a lot of documents there you've been going through. Yeah, Pete and Roseanne, it certainly is. It's been a lot of work and these official court filings, exclusive interviews and other information that I've been able to dig up may shed light on why the HSAA will be back in town for the second time in as many months to investigate the Dolphins football program and other athletic teams. For three weeks now, Gulf Shores football has been the number one ranked team in the state for Class 5A. And with the playoffs just two weeks away, several sources inside of the HSAA tell News 5 Sports the governing body is ready to take a deeper look. Pages of court documents reveal a Gulf Shores based fitness company was paying monthly rent for apartments where at least four high school student athletes and their families lived. That is until Gulf Coast Athletics quit making monthly rent payments at one club apartments and were sued for more than $20,000. Gulf Coast Athletics is named in three lawsuits filed by 100 Emerald Green LLC, the owner of the apartment complex. Leasing documents obtained by WKRG News 5 Sports shows that Gulf Coast Athletics and its owner, Jason Barnett, was the party responsible for paying monthly rent on three units. At least four Gulf Shores high school student athletes and their families lived in two apartment units paid for by Gulf Coast Athletics. Sources tell WKRG Sports that these court documents are one reason why the AHSAA is scheduled to return to campus to investigate potential eligibility violations. When reached by phone Tuesday, HSAA Executive Director Alvin Briggs said no comment. Back to the documents. In the case of apartment number one, a lease was executed in April of 2021 for a three-bedroom, two-bathroom unit with a monthly rent amount of $1,595. Records show that Jason Barnett electronically signed the lease contract on behalf of his company, Gulf Coast Athletics, the party responsible to pay rent. However, the occupants listed on the apartment lease include a current Gulf Shores football player and four of his immediate family members. In January of 2021, approximately three months before the lease began, that Dolphins football player, listed as an occupant on apartment number one, publicly announced his plans to transfer to Gulf Shores High School from Alexandria High School. A lawsuit filed in October of 2022 shows the occupants of apartment number one were evicted due to nearly $10,000 in unpaid rent and fees. Two months later, the owners of one club were awarded more than $13,000 in a judgment to be paid by Gulf Coast Athletics and owner Jason Barnett. WKRG Sports spoke with attorney Andrew Harrell, who represents the owners of one club. Harrell says that nearly a year later, they're still trying to collect money owed. We filed a, a suit for an unlawful detainer to, to remove Gulf Coast Athletics from the property uh, for failing to pay rent. We obtained uh, judgments and uh, for the uh, for possession of the property and for the uh, for unpaid rent. And we have made some efforts to try to to collect on that unpaid rent, but we've been unsuccessful so far. In the case of apartment number two, a second lawsuit filed in October of 2022 reveals another lease agreement dated November 12th, 2021 between one club and Gulf Coast Athletics for a three bedroom, two bathroom unit with a monthly rent amount of $1,845. Again, Gulf Coast Athletics is listed as the party responsible to pay rent. Now on this one, there's no specific occupants listed on the unit. However, that document was digitally signed by the mother of a current Gulf Shores softball player. A public search revealed at least two immediate family members of three Dolphins student athletes were listed as residents in apartment number two. One current Gulf Shores softball player and two football players who graduated in 2022. All three student athletes transferred to Gulf Shores from Oxford High School in 2021. Further research by WKRG Sports revealed that one of the adult occupants of apartment number two, the father of two Gulf Shores high school student athletes, was hired by Gulf Shores City Schools as a custodian at the middle school. The occupants of apartment number two were also evicted due to nearly $10,000 in unpaid rent and fees. Two months later, the owners of one club were awarded with another judgment of nearly $14,000 to be paid by Gulf Coast Athletics and its owner, Jason Barnett. 
Just two months ago, in August of 2023, a garnishment was issued for a bank account in Barnett's name for a sum of $8,800, but it could not be processed due to insufficient funds. The court has ordered property to be seized at Gulf Coast Athletics, but Harrell says that's also been a challenge. We're trying to locate where Gulf Coast Athletics was and you know get some information before we can try to seize property. We'll know if they have, if they have a current location or not. The physical address for Gulf Coast Athletics is listed as an office suite at the wharf in Orange Beach. When WKRG went to the address, we noticed the company sign on the door of the suite had recently been removed. Several voicemails and messages to Gulf Coast Athletics owner Jason Barnett have not been returned. The attorney representing one club says his client had no prior knowledge that the kids and families listed as occupants in their apartments paid for by Gulf Coast Athletics were affiliated with Gulf Shores High School Athletics. I, I can say this, my clients have no relationship whatsoever with, with, with Mr. Barnett or Gulf Coast Athletics. We have no knowledge about the, the purpose of the rentals or who the, or the, the, the specific people they were, they were having, um, living in them. And my clients just lease some spaces to Gulf Coast Athletics. In a statement to WKRG on Wednesday, Gulf Shores Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Matt Aiken said in part, quote, this year there are over 100 new transfers on campus, of which only nine of those are football student athletes. We have a very detailed enrollment process, and I'm convinced that we are doing things in the right way. Now, sources tell me that the Alabama High School Athletic Association investigators will be on the Gulf Shores High School campus on Monday of next week, which also happens to be the final week of the high school football regular season, of course, before the playoffs begin. Guys.